Good morning, everybody. So today has already been an eventful day, and now I'm about to do a Zoom call with a beautiful human who I love so much, who won a Zoom lunch date for like a from a Miranda video. That was like a month ago or something, and I've been so busy. I, she's been so patient with me as I've been like, I'm sorry, I'm so busy. Finally, we're gonna do it right now, and I'm so excited to see her. I've met her before, so I'm excited to see her again. Hey. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. But I'm gonna go eat my tacos and I'm gonna upload my video, but I love you and it was so good to talk to you and Love you too. Love you. I love you too. Bye. It was so fun talking to you. Yeah, you too. I love you. I just finished talking with Sierra. She's so lovely. She was so easy to talk to and like we just like I mean we were on the oh my gosh, like an hour. Really long. I did not feel like 20 minutes. That's crazy. Um. Anyway, she was really sweet, and it was really lovely to sit and chat with her. So yeah, I did like a Miranda video like a month ago or something. It was a long time ago, and in it, I like gave out a Zoom call with me. Um. If you like retweeted and shared the video or something, I don't even remember. But that's how that happened. So yeah, I realized I really need to do that, and I still need to do the Zoom calls that people won from doing the live stream fundraiser, and then I have all the Zoom calls for my live show, which is like. So if you haven't got tickets to New Year's Eve show yet, go check that out and get tickets. I'm very sleepy. I'm gonna eat some lunch and I'm gonna upload my vlog. I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's time for Advent. He might have already taken the toys out of the day. He keeps finding his Advent calendars and sneaking toys. So I don't know if he gets anything today. We'll find out. Ready, Flynn? The 21st, right? Oh, this one looks like it hasn't been opened yet. Okay, ready? <laughs> Ooh, what is it? Open it up. Nope, no, not that one. What is that? Car. Orange car. One more advent. You get one more, remember? Thank you. Advent. Advent, yeah. yeah. This one right here. Ooh, what's in there? What is that? Orange car. Yeah, what color? Red. Red and blue, that's right. All right, guys, he got this orange car. You wanna show them? And this. Blue and red dump truck. Pretty cool. Here you go, baby. Thank you. Dink a dink a dink a <laughs> dink a dink a dink a. All right, let's get mamas. I can tell by the shape of what this one is. What is it, Flynn? Yeah. A tile. Say a tile. Toe. A toe? Okay. A toe would have been more interesting, to be honest, than a tile. And they don't even come out, which is fine because I'm not going to do anything with it anyway, so. Kindness, time for the advent calendar of kindness. 21. Bus. Bus. There's the bus. Can you open this one for me? Okay. If you notice that the person behind you in the grocery line has fewer items in their cart than you do, often let them check up before you. Oh yes, hello. Who doesn't do that? Doesn't everyone do that? You never know, there might be a big, bigger hurt. Wait, does not everyone do that? If you're in the line of the grocery store and the person behind you has like just a few items, you let them go first, right? Is that not a universal thing? Of course. Like everyone does that, right? Alrighty, one more one. You wanna help me open this one? Ooh, a butter gloss. This one is very pretty. I don't know what the color is, but it's very pretty. Tiramisu, wait, I already got, oh, I think I got this lipstick and now I have the gloss. Mmm, that's Advent, guys. I wanna tell you guys about this cool weighted blanket that I got. I've always heard about weighted blankets being great for like anxiety, but I didn't know much about it. And I got this awesome weighted blanket and it's like this woman started this company and she seems super cool. I'll put her Instagram on the page, but it's Sheltered Co. Weighted Blankets. Studies have shown the alleviating effects of weighted blankets on individuals with low levels of serotonin. A weighted blanket could be the essential tool in helping children and adults feel safe and grounded in order to engage with life in a meaningful and productive way. For adults and children who have challenges with sensory processing, emotional regulation, attention, and anxiety, as well as for anyone who is occasionally stressed out by the daily demands of life. It's beautiful. Like, I've always seen weighted blankets and thought they were like, no offense, but kind of ugly. Um, and this one's like really pretty. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Gorgina. And it has this little like leather like buckle. I don't know if it's actual leather, probably not. But this is not a sponsorship. This is just a friend of mine. Her friend owns this company and she was like, can we send you one? I was like, yeah. So this is not sponsored. I'm just wanting to try it. So I haven't put it on my body yet. I wanna see what it feels like. <gasps> oh my gosh, it feels like a hug. Wait, I've never put on a weighted blanket before. Why is it lovely? I think 
think I love weighted blankets. I've never tried one before. This is amazing, and it's really pretty. It's very heavy. If you guys are interested in weighted blankets, go check them out. Not sponsored, not ad, just cute things I like. We're at the park, and we're gonna go see the dirt. Do you wanna get your truck? You forgot your backhoe. You can't play in the big dirt without a backhoe. How did you know a tow truck? What's this, baby? What's this one? Two truck. Yeah, and what's this one? I don't know how he knows that. What's this one? The beach up logging truck. A logging truck. I can't. I'm gone. What? How did you know what a logging truck is? Yeah. What the heck? Come on. The logging truck. A logging truck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. How do you know that? Go go. Okay, why is it, whenever he says cement truck, he always touches my cheek and goes Really? Yeah. Wow, he's the smartest. We're watching Ariana's tour Netflix show. Excuse me, I love you. It's so good, it's so amazing. And I got a package from St. Jude's, another one. They sent me a bunch of barbecue stuff. So we want to send a little extra holiday cheer your way. We hope your family enjoy these sweet treats on our behalf. Thanks for all that you do, St. Jude's. So that was so nice. And they sent us um, like cookie decorating kit. So I think we're gonna have Flynn's do some decorating, but. First of all, these boys. Uh oh, is <laughs> right. You think you crashed, Flynn. Now you can sprinkle these on. Good job! Good job, Flynn. Okay, now take a bite of the cookie, Flynn. Now you can take a bite. Oh, it looks good. Can you take a bite? Mmm, how is it? It's good. It's good. Stop. Yeah. Can you say Christmas tree? Good yeah. job. Oh my gosh. Having Flynn is the most fun thing in the entire world. Like literally gets better every single day. Like every day I like think he's cooler and cooler. He learns new things, he does new things that just blow my mind and make me so happy. And right now we're in the like very beginning, slow process of potty training. Flynn really likes to pee in the potty and he's not pooped in the potty yet. He talks about it and he wants to and he tries to, but he hasn't been able to. And tonight he told us he had to go poo poo. So he said, do you wanna go poo poo in the potty? And he said, yes. So I took him to the potty, did the whole rigmarole. Y'all know anyone who's potty trained a kid or just been around a toddler, I guess, you know, it's not an easy process because like he's not in pull-ups, he's in diapers. So it's like you have to take off the take off his pants, take off his diaper, get him on the seat, wait there with him, make sure it doesn't become a mess, and then like help him off and then make sure he doesn't pee again or without a diaper on, re put on a diaper. It's like it's kind of a pain in the butt. Anyway, he said he had to poo, so we <laughs> went the bathroom and he sat on the toilet and he was so funny and so cute like saying pooch pooch like saying push but like wasn't actually pushing and nothing happened but he tried his best and then he got off the toilet put a new diaper on and then five minutes later poo poo and we're like okay do you want to go poo in the pie so he did it again the whole thing pants off diaper off on the toilet waiting he kept saying push and trying and acting like he was doing it get off the toilet put on his diaper put on his pants come back in the living room and then he looks at me and goes <gasps> And then he just he pushed and he started <laughs> to do it. But it was so funny because he's looking me right in the eyes and he's pushing. <laughs> he gets exhausted for a minute or something and he goes like this. 
Ouch. And then we're gonna like try not to laugh because we don't want him to like, you know. We're not laughing at him, we're like, we wanna help him go through something that we all have to learn how to do. And then he takes a deep breath and he goes. Like that, like, I don't even know where he learned something like that, but he like, like that. And it was, pooch. And it was, oh, it was just amazing and so funny. And he's so funny. And after Eric was laughing, cause I had taken him back and forth to the bathroom so many times and then finally just pooped in his diaper. But he's very good at telling us when he needs to go. And we haven't had any like drama or accents or anything. It's just, we're taking our time with it, but it was very funny. Potty training, fun. Hello. So uh, tonight we watched, I was editing my Colleen's Corner video. In it, there's like a clip from a little like cabaret show I did like 15 years ago. So I had to watch it because I was editing it into the video, my Colleen's Corner video that is now up. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. And it made me laugh because it was like so awkward. And so then I showed it to Eric and then I showed him a couple other clips from that like performance. And then he was like, oh, I did a musical. And so then he showed me him in how to succeed in business without really trying, he played the lead and I was like, what? And my favorite thing in the world is to watch home videos. Like I'm obsessed with home videos and I'm especially obsessed with musical theater and like high school theater, college theater is like my favorite thing ever. We sat and we watched the whole show and it was so fun and it was hilarious because Eric is such like a subdued, like serious, shy person and actor. And so to see him in a show where he was like, whoa, 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 it was like crazy. I literally didn't recognize him. I didn't, I honestly didn't think it was even him in the show until they did a really big close up and I could kind of tell it was him like it was crazy but i feel like i didn't film very much today i need to be better at that i'm sorry guys it's just i'm just worried about a million other things right now i'm just not worried about vlogging and when i finally do have a moment to like hang out with like flynn or eric or Corey, i'm not thinking about like filming it i'm just like being there and if like i have a break from like editing or working on something else i just want to like chill with my family i just don't think about filming sometimes. So I just feel like I probably didn't film much today. So I apologize. You saw my video last night, my vlog yesterday, I was overwhelmed and like stressed and I'm doing better today. I think sometimes I have those like little meltdowns in my vlogs where I like cry and like <laughs> tell you about how I'm feeling. And I honestly, like I feel better after. I feel like I'm the type of person where like once I talk about it, I'm usually okay. Once I cry or talk it out, then like I can move on. But it's like keeping it inside is what is kills me so I don't know I just feel like last night I still have the same amount of work to do same amount of stress the same amount of stuff is being piled on me as it was yesterday but today I feel like less stressed about it because I think I just I got it out of my system I cried and that was good so there we go I'm gonna eat my cookie because I made cookies tonight because I'm obsessed with chocolate chip cookies so I'm gonna eat my cookie and I'm gonna edit my Colleen's Corner finish editing my Colleen's Corner and then I'm gonna go to bed guys and then it's really starting the Christmas season because I think I'm gonna see my parents and I'm very excited to see my parents and my sister and my brother and that's all very exciting stuff hooray Hip hip hooray for Christmas time. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.